the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there you go, we got the Brian Camera 12 YouTube channel. Hey, all your comic book and anime reviews. And now this is my review of Black Clover episode 1 and 2 since I missed the first episode. Uh, sorry about that, you guys got really busy over the last few days. Um, I lost of going on and I did not get to do Black Clover season episode 1. And I just like, oh what the fuck here, I did not even think about that. Um, and uh, the first episode of Black Clover was kind of... It was alright. Um, it definitely, you never can tell, like, it definitely is doing, like, what every other show on the show does. And it's being kind of very formulaic and kind of just action. And in this case, it really, really shows. Especially since, like, you got this character who has, like, no magic power. Who at the very end is, like, has, like, all this magic power. So it kind of, it kind of was like, well, then what's the point of saying talking about how he doesn't have any magic power if he's just gonna get magic power in what makes what makes this him different what makes him like you, you don't really know right now and it's and he's like it makes him seem like he's already the most powerful one out there that he's gonna win no matter what it's just it's very weird way to start the series off um and it's gonna be hard to have like, a lot of intrigue in it as well, um, episode two was really something else though, because uh, when you see him like this kid's backstory and everything with his brother, and his brother's probably the most interesting character in the show. Uh, I really enjoyed his brother's character more. Than I enjoyed the main character, and cause, like the main character keeps yelling and screaming a whole whole lot, especially episode two, especially in there. We're just like, why does this kid scream so much? You can just talk like a regular person. You don't have to scream everything and it was kind of always kind of like annoying to me that he just kept screaming all the time throughout the entire episode um uh, but no his relationship with his brother is really really interesting and their little rivalry that they have together is really intriguing and i really kind of like seeing like they're back and forth with each other and they're like bonding with each other and that that was really nice to me i mean really interesting I really enjoyed that aspect of it, even though it's a little, it's still a little bit formulaic in how it's being done and how it's being handled. Um, but I did kind of still enjoy it despite all of those factors that kind of are involved in it. Um, but again, like it just, there are just some things about it that just don't don't work with me that well especially episode two because like episode two i begins i with like this long 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 flashback from the last episode that we had already saw and it was just like it just went on for way too long and you're just like come on we just want to get to the new the new stuff and how you're going back to do this old stuff and it was just it was one of those things um, but I probably will probably keep reviewing it because I am still really enjoying it despite kind of its problems um, that I have with it. Um, so again, if you're on Black Clover, episode number one and two, let me know comments below what you guys are about Black Clover, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.